everyone to a cast of players, the Chronicles of Valtor, and welcome to Chateau de Martwick. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, of them. The summer house of the Martwick family here on the Black Peninsula, just north of Exemplar's Landing. A nice white stoned manor house with vast grounds, a beautiful garden, and the location of a gala being held by Geoffrey Martwick. Ah. The adopted brother of our good friend, Gregor. He stole my life! <laughs> <laughs> but you are here to steal what is known as the Hasaran Cube on behalf of the friend of Traystam, who has, uh, well, he wants it, and a uh, opportune moment has arrived, and you will have some form of an in. We didn't fully betray him, did we? Actually, no, we didn't the tell friend. him where he was. Yeah. No, we, no, we, we gave, we haven't gave betrayed them a, him at all. A, a, yeah. a fake location. We considered it. We haven't yeah. burnt all our bridges, oh, isn't that nice? <laughs> Some of them. But we are going to betray him and not give him that cute. Well, wow. <laughs> we, we, we can just throw him overboard the ship if he's not cooperating. <laughs> so, you have arrived at, via stagecoach at the front gate of. Chateau de Martwick, large white stone walls, and, and as noted at the end of last session, you can hear music and see nice twinkling lights and the din of conversation from the other side of the walls. And as you approach the main gate, you can see that there are two guards there uh, checking. You hear the rap on the window. Welcome to Chateau de Martwick. Uh, do you have your invitations, please? We must certainly do. Henrik Hawthorne, pleasure to make your acquaintance. He looks at the invitation, pulls out a guest list. It appears that you're not on here, sir. Uh, just bear with me one moment. You must be mistaken! I, I'm, I'm sure that's all it is, sir. But just bear with me. <laughs> <laughs> it's an outrage! <laughs> you can see him walk back off towards the main gate, and he hands the invitation through the gate to uh, someone on the other side. You can see them cross-referencing and checking. Fortunately, your signatures, when you were signing them on your arrival to Exemplar's Landing haven't changed all that much in the last few days when you signed your invitations. And the guard <laughs> returns. <sighs> Apologies, Sir Hawthorne. It appears that there was indeed a, a mistake. It, uh, we knew that there were some last minute additions to the guest list. Uh, Apologies, everything seems to be in order. If I could just take the rest of your companion's invitations as well. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm outraged that you even tried to stop me. I've been taking this up with the mud, which is <laughs> inconvenient. My, Give the invitation, <laughs> suffer. <laughs> Hurry now, let us in the gala! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he... Apologies, sir, at once. Shouting like, quicker! <laughs> he heads over to the, to the gate and uh, they unlock it from the other side of the stagecoach enters. Um, the stagecoach is directed down to the right where there is, uh, a, you can see a number of uh, stagecoaches uh, parked up in a coach house. Uh, the horses are taken off. You can see that there's an open paddock just around. As your stars look the nicest based on? Um, it's certainly not the nicest, but it's better than others. Well, it's something. We're going up in the world. Uh, you... Lambrinis. <laughs> <laughs> You can see that the, the grounds are immaculate. They're bathed in the soft glow of stringed lights and lanterns enchanted, hanging from the trees, uh, from balconies, from the topiaries. Um, there's a fountain in the central courtyard. The lapping of water flows from it uh, as it sits central. There's a large number of people here uh, gathered around, engaging in conversation, eating and drinking. Servants go around with platters. There's a troupe of musicians uh, and performers providing entertainment as well. You can see that there is a large set of double doors uh, just next to the fountain, which is closed off. Um, there's a large number of stained glass windows along that side. Um, you recognize this from the this part of the location as where the Grand Hall is. To the right of the paddock, you can also see where the guest house would be, uh, which is where you know that there is a passageway um, 
won't get you into the manor house itself. Um, there's also the storehouse and behind the main house is the large kitchen and servants area as well. As you get down off the stagecoach, uh, you are immediately approached with some glasses of um, sparkling alcohol and hors d'oeuvres upon the plate. Um, it's delicious. Of course it is. <laughs> My people. Um, the servant, um, as you've taken the last heap, bows, holds the uh, plate behind him and gives you a cut. I will just remind you, uh, sirs, madame, uh, weapons are indeed allowed here on the grounds. Uh, I, one presumes that uh, they will not be used. Uh, but of course, the, uh, uh, the guards are here and on hand, so if any troubles or squabbles occur, please leave it to the professionals. Uh, we hope that blades and spells will not be wielded, for it will of course result in your immediate ejection and reporting to the authorities. But we are also not in the habit of taking away one's arms and armament. Uh, Mr. Martwick himself is all too keen to brandish his weaponry. Uh, we would assume that one would do the same. Oh yes, I'm sure he is. Where, where might we be able to find Mr. Martwick? Uh, he will be milling around. I'm sure he will be delighted to meet you. Uh, but uh, he is uh, currently engaged in other conversations it's, it's, at the time. It's been a while since I've seen him. I can only presume he's put on a substantial amount of weight. No, he's looking quite spelt. Really? Oh. Yes, yes. He's uh, <laughs> he, 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 keeping himself in fine form, oh, uh, one might say. I see, and I imagine he's aged terribly. No, not at all, sir. The picture of health and virility. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your time here at Chateau de Martwick. It certainly will. And he heads off into the crowd, past the crowd, round the corner where you know the kitchen area is to fetch more libations. Um, you can see, like, around the, the, the grounds themselves is, is quite a few people, at least a couple of dozen uh, outside here. Um, it's a mix of, no, well, what you presume to be nobility, well-to-do, merchants. There's a few people which are definitely not of that ilk, but are clearly retainers, bodyguards, things like that. What would you like to do? The grounds are your oyster. So we at the um, <laughs> whistle thing can't go now. Uh, so we are the, like the fountain out the front at this point, being welcomed. The welcome. Um, you, you're, you're by the stagecoach. Oh yeah. Okay. So we can head towards the fountain that leads into the uh, where like the grand hall and stuff is. Uh, well, you, so as you approach the grand hall uh, entrance doorway, uh, there are guards there, and they they not moved to intercept, but they're just like. Uh, Sorry, sir, uh, this uh, part is uh, closed off for the time being. Okay, cool. Um, so, so the entrance hall, and then, and then can we head to the library? Uh, yep, so the, the door to the south, which leads to the ballroom, that is uh, open. Uh, you can hear music coming from in there, or you could head to the main entrance um, and, the, and the main hall. Shouldn't we be trying to find this cube first? Yes, I'm imagining it's probably in the Grand Hall, where I presume, potentially, that's where our auction might be. Yes, why don't we, we can... head there first? Well, the guards have it's currently turned us away from the Grand Hall, but we oh, go... Oh yes, <laughs> just said that. <laughs> <laughs> we go via the Why too many libations? <laughs> It's, got the, it's, like, it's like half a, half a sip has yeah. gone. I've got another golden observation from Gideon McLennigan. <laughs> I'm Gideon Cobbs. Yeah. Um, excuse me, I am Gideon McLennigan. <laughs> um, if we go via the ballroom, we can go through the main entrance and we will be able to get to the library. I will need to jog my memory of exactly where the library can lead us. I mean, it's a project of the juice if there's too many people in there. Okay, lead the way. Determining the random location of certain NPCs. Oh no, it's like having someone hunting me. <laughs> um, are you, so you, are you entering via the ballroom or via the, the, the main entrance? We'll go via the ballroom, I have a boogie. Yeah, uh, yeah it, it's, it's a large ballroom. Uh, music is flowing from it, there's uh, people dancing. Uh, not necessarily a waltz, but you know, it, it's not quite... Uh, yeah, it's, it, it's, uh, yeah, it's like a group medieval dance yeah. type thing. Um, again, there's about two dozen people in here. So the gala is actually, now that you're here, you're like, it's actually, there's quite a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, could you all make a perception check? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh boy. 19. 15. 7. You two, 
<laughs> this is not in your wheelhouse whatsoever. You're just like... The dancing. The, just everything. Oh, the whole thing. The whole thing, you're like, you're very uncomfortable. This is too tight around your neck. Mm. <laughs> you don't, you've got your shoes on. You're not having a good time. <laughs> Foot prisons. You are... This is kind of, sort of, but not really. Like, theory, but not practice. Yeah, theory, but not practice. You're basically a chameleon anyway. You've been all around noble places. You do actually see people from the Benari here as well. Ah, okay. You do, you, there's one that you, you are particularly... And they're not nobles because... No, they, they are in noble attire. Okay, yeah. Um, so wealthy cer Benari. Certain city-states <clears throat> do have noble houses. Yep. Um, this is second nature to you, even after all these years. I'm home, baby. <laughs> you two, because you're more comfortable with it, you are the two that notice on the outer balcony, just above uh, where the ballroom is, you do see movement and it goes inside. Oh, when you say see movement, like as in so a about singular... the corner of your eye, a singular figure, like almost just up on the balcony, up on the balcony, moving inside, uh, which you know is where um, Jeffrey's room is, <gasps> as well as where the museum is. Isn't it? The yeah. family museum. Oh, I'm yeah, sand yeah. So that outer balcony rings around that section of the house. Okay. Where, where, those, floor above. where those rooms are. Yeah. And it is directly above the ballroom and directly above. So you're kind of heading that way towards mm. the fountain. Um, and then as you're going in, you sort of clock that. And you two do. Yeah. But you two are, you do not notice it. But it is on the balcony. It's not as if the figure's on the roof or something. No. So, yeah. Yeah, on the balcony. <laughs> if memory serves, I believe that might be my brother's room. Okay. Anyway, I reckon we head to the library. From memory, we can get stairs up to the upper level from there. And also, I do want to I have recollection of there being something in the library that might be very useful. Might be able to get us around a bit. We, I know of a couple of passageways. This place is riddled with them. But I vaguely remember one in the library. It was how I escaped a drunken gala when I was um, surrounded by ladies. <laughs> <laughs> You, you make your way through the ballroom and you emerge at the other side into an opulent hall lined with fine red carpets that run throughout, uh, decorated in floral arrangements, fine art ornamentation on display. Um, compared to Le Mer Le Bois house, this is very tasteful. Mm -hmm. this, this is, it's not necessarily the difference between new money and old money, but this is definitely, this person, you know, the, your parents are unscrupulous, Jeffrey is unscrupulous, they know what they're, you know, they do have taste. Yeah. Much like their offspring. <laughs> the apple falls far from the tree. Um, <clears throat> on the opposite side, you can see a servant standing by an open door just beyond that cloakroom. Um, to the right of you, you can see as you've emerged, there's a set of white stairs which go up and round into the upper floors of the house, uh, flanked by two guards standing to attention. Uh, the hallway continue to your left is the main entrance. Uh, to your right, um, you can see that it continues to go on and then also splits off round the corner as well. Uh, at the very end of the hallway, you can see that there's a single door with a, uh, a guard standing in front of it. To the right of him, there is a large oak double door which would lead into the great hall. Mm -hmm. There are two guards standing in front of that. To the left, it continues down to where the library and the drawing room would be. And at the end of that corridor is another set of stairs, just a single set of stairs. But again, a guard posted. So there's a guard there as well. There's guards posted around. Mm -hmm. So the guards that are on the library entrance. Are uh, the, library, like, the libraries are open. That's open. Um, there's, there's guards one, around, but they're like yeah. letting people yeah, mill it's, around. It's, it's, it's a guard. It's, it's yeah. almost an open house at this point, but there is a guard presence. Yes. Yeah. But, the, but the one that the, the Great Hall one, door closed very much. Door closed, two guards standing in front of it. And then the, the, the stairs, they're standing to the side. They're flanking it. Yeah. The, 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 the Great Hall, they're standing in front of it. Yes. The door at the end, uh, which is effectively where the study is, mm -hmm. there is a guard standing in front, front of, of the it. Door. Yeah, nice. Um, yeah, you, you're gonna put two and two together. If there's a guard in front of the door, you're not allowed in yep. there. Nice. If it's open, you're allowed in there. Explore. Um, should we continue to the library? Yeah, to the library, yeah. Okay, you head into the library. It's lined with books, um, some old, some ancient. Uh, there's a set of stairs leading up to a second uh, balcony ring above it, uh, which would also lead up to the second set of stairs. There is a guard standing uh, by those stairs as well, but again, to the side of it, not in front of it. Mm -hmm. So you one marking yeah, all the guard locations. Um, there is uh, a number of people in here. Um, there's a woman uh, who is 
browsing the books. Uh, and there is also a, uh, she, is, uh, she is of the Benari. Um, you sort of recognize um, the, um, the facial features, the, the, the style of clothing, yeah. uh, the hairstyle as well. Uh, you know, they're not necessarily like this is a dead giveaway, but it's from, um, you recognize uh, her of, of being from Walden, which is the okay. current capital yeah. Yeah, yeah. of, uh, because the capital of the Union moves around every um, three years. There's also a half elf there um, who is sat at a desk. Um, he has a, a glass of champagne in one hand and he's looking at some notes. Um, the two have uh, are not engaged in conversation at this time. Do you want to head into the library itself? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, the half elf looks up and gives you a nod. Uh, the woman ignores you completely. What would you like to do? I'm going to suggest while I try and jog my memory. Gideon, you stay with me, but how about you two do some mingling? I see a binary lady over there and a half-elf. We maybe get some information about this auction, should we need to. See if they know what's going on or if they have tickets into said auction. Might be a good backup plan. Sure, we can do that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I approach the binary mm -hmm. lady. Okay, yeah. Um, she's a tall, beautiful woman, tan skin, black hair, almost crystal blue eyes. Um, she looks bored out of her mind. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, uh, Dorian says in a, like a very refined accent. <laughs> Good evening. Benary? Walden, I presume? What was the giveaway? I uh, frequent Walden regularly. Man of the Union, yet wearing the Nemosian attire. What brings you here then? I'm here to, uh, for the auction, of course. Yourself? She rolls her eyes. <sighs> Aren't we all, my dear? Aren't we all? Mm. She holds out her hand. Lady Maya Tareko, you recognize that name instantly. That she is one of the noble houses. Like her dad, like Sir Sir Tor Tareko is one of the assembly. Like oh, he, wow. he's okay. he's a high up politician. Okay. Big dog. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> um, Hadrian Greencrest, I, I kiss her hand. Private collector and dealer. And you have entrance to the auction then, Mr. Greenleaf? Well, I've been known to uh, deal in very Green exotic Crest. items. <laughs> I'm Greenleaf. Greenleaf. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've been known to deal in exotic items, have you? Indeed. Oh, well, unfortunately, that won't get you very far here. If I can't get in, I mean this in the nicest possible way, dear, I don't think you will be either, private collector or no. Oh, excuse me, I, I thought you did have permission to bid. No, I've attempted, but they are on a much tighter security arrangement, it seems, than I was anticipating. Yes, it, it may prove difficult, but um, I have certain clients that I'm sure will have access. Hmm. Could you make a, uh, a deception check, please? Sure. Yes, I can, actually. Ooh. Yes, I, yes, yes, I can. Uh, that is 18. She gives you a, a, a slight smile. Clients. Ask no questions, get no lies. Indeed. And your clients, would they be interested in selling on to further parties? They or would. Were they private collectors themselves? No, my uh, clients tend to use me as the middleman, so to speak, and um, we like to sell our, uh, our accoutrement and a profit. Should you find a way into the auction, I'd be happy to find out your ways and methods. Be sure to be in touch. I, I then turn to go to look at you and gesture to the half-elf. Mm -hmm. <coughs> the half-elf. Yeah, he's looking at, he takes a sip. Does he look happy? <laughs> <laughs> does, he, he, does he seem approachable? <laughs> could you make an insight check? Oh, I'm not very good at it. Well, I should be good at it. No, I'm not very good at it. <laughs> <laughs> it's ten. Um, plus seven to that. Plus seven. You can't, you, you, you can't tell. Like, I mean, he looks... He's I'm quite, disappointed in he's myself. He's quite stony-faced. Um, like, he doesn't look like he's miserable, um, but he doesn't look like he's having a good time. But I can't eat, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm going to walk up. Hello. <laughs> yeah, he looks down as you, as you stub your knee. He's like, the table there, my dear. Can I help you? Apologies. Lovely evening, isn't it? I suppose. Pleasant. 
Scala? A bit garish for my taste. Mm, I understand, I understand. Not, not too used to these myself. Um, do you really? often go to galas? <laughs> On occasion. Stop laughing at me. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and what interested you in this one? An invitation is placed on my desk for free food and drink. Why would you not attend? The company is less than desirable, though. I can understand that. I'm just going to look around at all of yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so Dorian can is you? deliberately just <laughs> pretending to look at the books. You can see that you are starting to sink quite rapidly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm quite unsuccessfully Dor lifting uh, things up and looking under them. <laughs> Dorian pretends to have heard him say the company is not uh, mm -hmm. you know, particularly nice. Um, well, you know. It's all a matter of taste, isn't it? Indeed, and it appears that most of the people here have none. Yes, I agree that uh, people of substantial wealth often don't know how to spend their money, but nonetheless, they do acquire very interesting things. They do? Perhaps you'll be bidding this evening. Perhaps I will. Hmm. Perhaps I won't. Perhaps I have no idea what you're talking about. Perhaps. You should leave people that are by themselves to themselves. And he <laughs> goes back to... Nothing wrong with some friendly competition, old chap. <laughs> I'll see you on the floor. <laughs> I'll walk round it. <laughs> I just look very confused. Like <laughs> what is Kitty and McLennigan up to? <laughs> 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 Did you think we had forgotten? <laughs> uh, apart from being quite uncomfortable in his clothes, um, I'm basically sort of looking around to see if there's anything that looks a bit out of place in terms of your um, secret tunnels and secret... <coughs> okay. Because you're one with nature, aren't you? Would you be able to, like, if there was a breeze coming through a, like, seam, would you sniff it out? I don't know. That like air <laughs> like pressure a, like or something. A, yeah. Like a dog. Um, yeah. Make a survival check, please. Excuse me. Uh, that will be a grand total of nine. I can use a lucky today. I'm a human being. You could. are a human. Very uncomfortable are we human being. For this you are completely cake. fresh. Yeah. Yeah. Marvelous. <laughs> Thirteen. There's windows to the balconies outside. Um, you can smell like roasting meat coming through Ooh. from like Ooh. barbecues and stuff. Oh, but Hidia likes roasted. <laughs> you can't. You can't tell if there's anything in particular inside. Okay. You're searching around, are you? Yes. Okay. Uh, should I do an investigation check? Please. Uh, could you do a stealth check first, then investigation? <laughs> I'll see how stealthily you are from the guard. Ooh, an 18 on the stealth. Oh, it's very stealthy. Sure, yep, yeah, okay. <clears throat> the guard's sort of just at the... Uh... So they're at the doors. Uh, so the guard is at the base of the stairs. Oh, okay. There's no other guard presence in here. It's just yourselves, He's and the half elf, and uh, Lady Tareko. He's eyeballing us all. Is he in front of the stairs or just adjacent to the He's stairs? He's adjacent to the stairs. So you can go, go up, up the stairs. stairs. Yeah. Um, you you could, in theory, go up the stairs. Um, yeah. If you look up, there is someone up there as that well at the cool. balcony. Yeah. Um, well, I'll try an investigation check to see if I can jog my memory. Um, oh, that is a 19. You, as you're moving around, you're going between the, the different rows of the library on the back wall, and you see a bust of father. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Push the bust over, James. <laughs> oh. Can I investigate the bust further? Uh, yeah. Oh, 21. Uh, as you're looking, you almost like lean on it, you know, like eye to eye with him. And you can see that the left eye has a very small button. Oh, <gasps> nice. Okay. I, I mean, <clears throat> is the guard looking over at me now? Um, so at the moment, you are behind, a, uh, you're, you're in between two hmm. rows of Oh, blocks. I see where the statue is now on the, on the, on the map. <laughs> <laughs> um, so no one can see me? Uh, well, they might be able to see you through the bookshelves, but you will, you know, you will need to make a self check, but it might be okay. easier than if you were out in the office. Have yeah. I noticed what you're doing? <laughs> make a perception check. <clears throat> You've also walked away, so. Yeah, well, I, I, I'm because we've cut away. I'm about to say something to you, but I'll, we'll come back in a second. I do notice. Uh -huh. Right. Do you have your loot on you? So, oh, you, if you come up and start, start, because I, I thought this was happening sort of simultaneously. No, I just sometimes can and can't stop being. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Taking him over. Do I have my loot on me? Yeah, like, oh, as in my instrument. Yes, yeah, not as in your plunder. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as in your instrument. Oh, do you know what? No, I don't think Dorian. I think you weren't that no, I would have left that. At the, I uh, assume been a weird thing to bring to a gala. Yeah, I don't have any of my books or my yeah. um, just scrolls. Just because on. before I start pressing <coughs> buttons, I might want to. I was about to go you and try sing. and do a distraction. Sing. Marvelous. Yeah. Um, well, Is that well what, whilst you have discovered all of this, yeah. I say to you, I, I sort of walk gently away from him, <laughs> in a hushed breath. Sounds like he's actually got an invite into the hall. Does? Can you make out where he might be holding it? Knock, pick him. <laughs> can I investigate the man? <laughs> you can make a perception check. Can I do a distraction so she can do investigation at advantage? Well, you I'm, will be able to distract <laughs> for one thing. So I, I, oh. I, I'm willing to, right now, she's just looking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. I'm just looking. Yeah, mm -hmm. if he does, then I will, of course, provide aid in uh, mm -hmm. ensuring that you do acquire that. Mm -hmm. I need meditation. everyone to believe in me right now. Okay. We believe. Okay. Yeah! Yeah! Oh! You know exactly yeah. where it is. Hang on, were you guys not believing in me this entire time? That's amazing. Is that why I'm not <laughs> <my roles>? um, <laughs> <laughs> so the man is wearing a um, a fine suit, mm -hmm. but there's not many pockets on this suit. Okay. Um, in fact, there's no pockets at all on his breeches, uh, nor on his shirt, but he is wearing a waistcoat. This waistcoat is of Istari make. Not a common waistcoat in the enclaves, but it is uh, a known enough style. You know, because your father used to wear one of these quite a lot, there is a uh, pocket on the inside. That's quite tricky. Was, Inside of a pocket. I just realised the twenty was to investigate, not for the not for the pickpocketing. <laughs> uh, and so, what do you what do you say to me? I can't see any obvious places for the invitation to the auction. However, his waistcoat will have a pocket on the inside. I'm just not quite sure how easy that would be to grab. Well, if you fall into him, I can try my best. I have already shown myself to be, to be not the best <laughs> at movement. <laughs> Here, go, go try and pick up a book and I'll uh, ensure that you have a trip on the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, am I, are you guys in, are you, you how, how are you discussing this? Um, so um, I've, I'm looking at one of the books uh -huh. and she, so I've gone over and I'm appearing to look through the library and I'm not actually turned to talk to her. Okay. It's, I'm just, so if you're if you're behind me, you can't see that I'm talking at all. I'm mm -hmm. using a very hushed okay. toe. Could you both make a stealth check for Ooh. us, please? Believe in me. <laughs> it's working. Um, that is a twenty-five. <laughs> I'm gonna lack that. <laughs> 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 uh, five. Okay. Grab a book! <laughs> Why don't you trip up into him and steal his invitation? Right. Um, yeah, you, 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 you do exactly what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. Could you make a perception check, please? Just you. Ooh. Oh, hello. Yes, I can. You went through 18. the gate. <laughs> you go through the gate. Um, you, as you, you're facing, uh, you're... More than that, 20, in fact. Very nice. You're uh, facing over, you're talking to Acacia in the hushed tones. And then as you move back to put your book that you were looking at back on the shelf, out the corner of your eye, you can see Lady Tareko looking at you like... And then she shoots a look over at the, at the half-elf and ah. walk, walks over to another bookcase. An interested third party. Uh, am, I, am I able to see any of this going down? No, you are currently... Sorry, my father. Yeah. You, you've been there for about five minutes. <laughs> right. yeah. Kitty McGlanagan is probably thinking, <laughs> what's he doing? So she, she's already on side, because Dorian's warmed her up. Because the way that I see it, is she thinks that if I can acquire it, I'll sell nice. it to her. Yeah. yeah, nice. So she doesn't mind how we I get like it. This. Yeah. <laughs> I like this. I like all of this. Um, so, okay, that's fine. We're not compromised. Uh, you, do you start walking over to the... So you want me to... I want you to, to walk past the elf. Okay. Because there there's, there's books all Is he sat there. down? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You need to trip into him. No, no, no. Down. I'm going to. It's is. I'm going to make you have the accident. 
Okay. <laughs> I mean, bear in mind, this is the same person who has never threatened anyone ever in his life. <laughs> I'm going to make you have an accident. I'm going to start walking yeah. over so to the half-elf. As you elf. start walking, Dorian started circling round, holding the book that I've picked mm -hmm. out, and I'm reading it. Mm -hmm. And you can see <laughs> that if you keep walking towards him, I'm going to actually intercept well, I'm and I will end looking. up walking into you, which will then buckle you and mm -hmm. you can buckle in the right direction. Yes, I'm, I'm going to look away from you so it doesn't look like yeah, exactly. I'm tripping on purpose. Yeah, so nice. Dora, Dora, I, start, I start reading aloud <clears throat> and then I start um, going through the paper mm -hmm. trying, like, as if I'm trying to find a certain passage. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, it's a happy accident. <laughs> I just imagine I just, how I how I can trip in such a way that I fall into this man that's sitting well, you down. You don't need to trip because I'm going to turn. He's not like book. behind. Okay. He's not behind yeah. a table. He's sort of you know sat <laughs> yeah, you know yeah. sort of slouched <laughs> off to the side. Yeah. Basically, Dorian suddenly spins. At, ah, that's it. Uh, and like I said, I found the passage and I turn into you and my arm pushes you quite literally onto okay. him. Could you make a performance check? Could you make an acrobatics check? Does this make quite a lot of noise? Uh, 17. <coughs> uh, 18. Ooh, what a um, Yeah, precisely that happens. You spin, you knock into Acacia, who oh. falls almost like onto him. Uh, as this happens, there is a, a clatter. You catch the glass of, of wine that he was drinking, spills on the floor, shatters. Oh. Uh, Lady Tereco turns around and says, Oh my dear, my goodness, are you okay? And she moves over to a sit. Guard, uh, please, you must help this poor young girl. She's just had a terrible fall. He begins to move over <laughs> as well. Oh my um, goodness, forgive the, me. He, forgive he, me. The, 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 the elf is, is covered in, in wine. He's like, Oh my, like, you stupid woman. <laughs> well, uh, he, he, he stands, he stands up. up. He's standing up at this point. Did you manage to pick his pocket? What, in how are you going to approach this? He's standing up. He's just stood up. He's covered in wine. Covered in wine? Yeah. Do I have like a handkerchief or something? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Rip it out. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Make a slight of hand. <laughs> <laughs> Inconceivable. Let me dab that invitation <laughs> down for 18? you. An 18. An 18. Ooh. Ooh. Oh! Um, <laughs> as, as you sort of pulled pulled away, like he's almost like pushed you away. The guards are like, enough of that, sir. There's no need for violence. It was just an accident. Quite right, too. Entirely uh, my yeah, fault. Yeah, totally. Took it out my yes, sleeve. Yes, you silly man. man. Like, honestly. Very clumsy of me. Sorry. <sighs> you. <clears throat> she, like, Why don't you come with me, my dear? We'll we'll get you. We'll get you sorted out. Like, I, I need a companion to the ladies' room anyway. Um, and the guard is dealing with, it, and she sort of takes you sort of arm in arm. It's like, I have Dor friends in the enclaves. Yeah, 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 I'm looking around panicked at you at this yeah. point. Like, okay. Uh, she takes you off round the corner. You head across uh, to the drawing room. Whilst this commotion is happening, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're just well, staring I've, at the I've, I've, I've noticed <laughs> that you, you seem to be very uh, locked into the bust of what appears to be a version of you. <laughs> With two eyes. Yeah, yeah. you look a bit cross. Uh, given that that was probably quite a lot of commotion, mm -hmm. I presume we've just gone while it was all like, oh, sorry, God, go, go, come over here. Like, I've just have gone for the window of opportunity. Could you roll a d20 for me, please? Oh, Christ. <laughs> uh, oh, an 18. Oh, we're on fire today. Yeah. Boy. It, you hear a click and it doesn't move any further. You just hear a little, oh, butts. <laughs> like it's, moved away, like not away from the wall, but yeah. you could, it's, it's like when you open a door, but you don't open it all the way, you kind of just unlock it and open it so you can go off and do something else. Can I try and move the pedestal? You can, could you make a athletics check, please? I'd also probably beckon my, my, my stronger friend to my side. It's just a 12. Just a 12. <laughs> you begin to... And then... Oh. Oh, oh yes. no! Yes. Sugar and spice! <laughs> um, at that, the guard immediately stops what he's doing. 
and he you can hear him you you can see him just through the bookcase beginning to head through what is it it's you're kind of sorry me. sorry i oh, butterfingers i who is it who am i speak where's the guard uh, he's he's approaching towards the uh towards me where... and you were in like a imagine a library yeah. in like so a yeah. bookshelf <laughs> bit yeah. yeah sort of like back into oh, terribly i was leaning <laughs> i was leaning on the on the 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 bust over there <laughs> And I must have learned a little bit too hard on my own strength after a couple of Are you moments. leaving it open? Or are you... Well, he's... He's, he's, well, well, he's, he's intercepted the guard. Yes. But Don't you worry. have started to pull the bust open. I've, I've, I've put it back where I found it. Can I see what... If there's any, anything underneath? Um, so there is a... Um, so past the bus, there is a small passageway which leads down. So, so, but, so the guard can't see me right now? Oh, no, he can. It's just oh. Gideon's in the way. Um, He's not that big. I'm gonna keep an eye on the guards, and if you, you somehow lead him away, maybe I will continue. Yeah, no, he, he's just like, like, be that as it may, sir. I mean, I understand. Maybe don't touch things like that. I need to now go and fetch my companions and reset. Okay. Um, you, if you could please leave. Um, thank you. I'll because just wander off at and this stage. he he approaches the bust, and you can see him moving to reset. Could you make a persuasion check, please? Me. Mm-hmm. No. no um, he went as he was saying this, and he's pushing back. He's looking over his shoulder at you. He didn't believe a word you said. I don't blame him. I rolled a one. <laughs> Has he also clocked me? Could you make a stealth check and pull the hat down? <laughs> Did you do anything to change your appearance? Are you still just eye patched? I don't know, I've got a nicer eye patch, <laughs> <laughs> but I figured that plays to my plays to my strength because I believe I had two eyes last I saw my family. So. Sure. Um, helpful. Stealth check. Uh, it was a ten. A ten. He's a bit too busy focusing on the bust at the moment and resetting it. Okay. Um, as you're leaving, um, you do see another guardsman has entered the library to investigate the alarm for the. I can't, I can't try and persuade them that you used to be some sort of weightlifter or something, and you're, you don't know your industry. <laughs> <laughs> or would that be foolish? I mean, you can try. I'll give it a go. So, so imagine you, like, to so what imagine, end? So you're, yeah. you're chatting to the guards and yeah. the other one's like, is huffing, moving towards the thing. We're both sort of awkwardly stood in the passageway. No, he's, he's, he's ushered you out of the passageway. Yeah. You are out of that So imagine that as section. we're passing, I'd be like, Henry, oh, it's fine. Terribly sorry. Hey, it's my, my companion here. He used, he used to be in, in, in the circus. Incredibly strong. Doesn't know his own strength. My, my, how do you think I lost my eye? He went to give me a high five. Hit me so hard it popped out my skull. <laughs> <laughs> he just hit my head, of course. Could you make a deception <laughs> check, please? A 16. <laughs> yeah, the guards just like, very well, sir. Just, but please, and they, they are still gesturing <laughs> okay, you away. Fine. Whilst he's saying that... Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared where this is going. Uh, how many are there? Two of them at the moment. Whilst he was saying that, uh, I found a couple of uh, spare glasses and gone bloop, bloop, with a little bit of uh, fairy's breath. Can I offer them uh, by way of apology a little? <laughs> uh, you offer... The, the, sorry, sir. We are on duty, sir. Oh yes, fair enough. <laughs> Have they now abandoned the stairs to come? Yeah, so one of them was the one that was, so the one that initially came to investigate was by the stairs. Mm -hmm. um, again, not blocking it. Yeah. The other one was the one by the other set of stairs. Again, wasn't blocking it. Okay. It's, so just, it's, it's just a station post. The balcony man has gone. Uh, there was, uh, oh, the, the, so that was another, that's another guest. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, that was another um, guest. Who's, who's been looking down this, this sort of, at uh, this debacle? You can see them like, because I imagine... Like, this is probably the best bit of entertainment yeah. they've had. <laughs> After also seeing you be thrown yeah, into yeah, a yeah. table. Are you still in the library with us? Yeah, well, I, I've... I have been abandoned with the strange lady. Yeah, he's probably following. <laughs> yeah. At this point, yeah, you, Keisha's just gone off um, with uh, the noble lady, and I just look at the, um, the half-elf and quite blatantly just half-smile at him <laughs> and then walk off. And I'm actually going to follow where you're going. Thank you. Please stop leaving me alone to socialise with people. It's um, not my strong you, the, the, uh, So Lady Tareko has, has taken you in the arm. You know, she, she's put her... She, she's linked arms yes. with you, put her hand on you. And she's not... It's not like she's grabbed you by the wrist. She's but leading me. There's, she's leading you. Mm -hmm. It's like, come along, my dear. We'll, 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 you know, we will venture to up, up, you know, up to, the, to, the, to the powder room and we'll, we'll you know... 
get everything calmed down. She leads you up the small set of stairs on the left-hand side of the house, and you go to the second floor. Oh. Hang on, I need my bearings. Got it. Do we know you've gone upstairs? And I'm following. Uh, make a per- you two make a perception check. You were there, you've seen oh. ah! You two have kind of been- Oh my goodness. That's my lucky dice. I'm, it was exactly uh, the same. I was clearly uh, too busy. 15. I was to too busy it? telling you how excellent you were at being a weightlifter that I've only got a six on my perception. <laughs> you do notice and follow, and she's leading you off. And upstairs, is it's much the same, it's just a bit quieter. Um, you can see that there are a number of um, people here that do seem to be queuing for uh, the bathroom. It's about four or five people. Um, but effectively, three of the rooms are being used for their en-suites. Um, there's a few, uh, basically three, three of the bedrooms, and you can see people have been um, queuing up for them. Uh, on the map itself, you can see that the corridor leads up and round, but there are um, to the right-hand side at a T-junction mm-hmm. uh, is the set of main stairs leading downwards. Past that, uh, there is a guard standing in the hallway. In the hallway. In the hallway, like smack in the middle of the hallway, uh, at the ne- T-junction. At the, uh, at the set of stairs leading down. At the set of stairs leading so down. So he is clearly blocking off access to the second part of the house, i.e. the part of the house where Jeffrey's room is mm-hmm. and where the yep. museum is. And the armory. But he's, armory. he's not at, the, at he's, oh, oh he's, he's, he, is he in that T <coughs> that is sort of the three bits? Uh, so no, so next to the stairs, yep. um, at the lower part of the stairs at near the, the south, lower part. Uh, there's a door which leads down to a small hallway. Yep. He's standing at that Oh, yeah, cool. T-junction. I will try and put a map up for you, but anyway. (laughs) She leads you off down to the very far end you are following as well. She's like, it's okay, it's okay. You did a wonderful job. Thank you. Does it often get noticed? An associate of Mr. Greencrest. Yes. In fact, I'm I'm, I'm Greenleaf, if you could believe. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> she, she, she gives you a smile. <laughs> what are the chances? <laughs> and elegantly is moving through. <clears throat> um, you are sort of stood. There's only one person in front of you at this point. Um, the door, the door uh, to the toilet the, is, is locked. You, as they leave, she. Oh, after you, after you, after you. Right, give me the invitation. And how far behind am I now? You're not far, but you're, you know, you're, 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 you're in earshot. <laughs> Stop encouraging me to stab her. <laughs> the invitation, please, my dear. In- now, now, my lady. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Mr. Greencrest. Well, you did say about finding a way in, as have I. Or should we let the guards know about your unfortunate little accident? Well, it wouldn't be in your best interests to reveal an accident that may or may not have lifted an invitation. Um, yes, and I can explain why. Please. One, we know what you want, the cube. Two, we know that I wish to sell it to you. Now, I can get in. If you reveal that we have in fact taken this invitation, I will reveal that you were in fact trying to take the invitation for yourself. Then neither of us get in. And who would they be likely to believe? A I member be... of House Tareko or Mr. Greencrash. Well, they won't need to believe anything because the evidence will be quite clear. And I, I hold my hand out for the invitation. Does it have any name on it? What, what does it look like? Because we've actually not really looked yeah. at it yet. <coughs> it doesn't have a name on it. It doesn't? Mm-mm. Oh, interesting. And so is it just like an admit yeah. one? Sort so of thing? It, has a, it has a stamp on it, like a seal. Okay. Um, no, that's fine. The evidence will be quite clear because it will be clear that the half-elf down there will not have his invitation and we can just blame you for lifting it. In fact, we could say that you hired us to take the invitation. And then it will be my word against yours. And your word really won't mean very much given the fact that you were never given an invitation in the first place. So you would, of course, want entry by any means necessary. Could you make a persuasion check, please? If yes, I can. I'll just stab her. Twenty. <laughs> yeah. She. Persuasion. <laughs> now here's the thing. This doesn't have to become unpleasant. I want the same thing as you. I want to get the cube. I'm happy to sell it to you. 
Why don't we just have the transaction between ourselves rather than you going in and frankly, potentially not getting it anyway. You'd be bidding against everyone else. Mm. Where if I go in, I will get the cube. Deal? She, she goes from like the pout face to the slight smile again. Um, you can see like the political cogs whirring. Very well. Apologies, my dear. Mm, my apologies. I was starting to think of other ways to convince you to leave us alone. So. <laughs> 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 she, she looks between the two of you. What a fascinating pair of... You have been lockpicked? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I will never live that down. Of item procurers you are. <laughs> I do hope you can get the cube, Mr. Greencrest. I shall be here all night. I will seek you out. You are uh, safe in your contract with... Lord Greencrest. Mm -hmm. See you soon. And I take Shaysha's mm -hmm. arm. <laughs> <laughs> I like how oh, I'm just being shepherded this entire time. <laughs> Back downstairs in the library, you two. You, you have turned around, you've seen that your companions have disappeared and you do not know where. Right, where, where, where to next? Is there anywhere else they're distracted? Anywhere else that we could try? Well, I believe I've found one of the locations that we're looking for. Have we? Um, the other two I do know, but they're more of a get out of jail free card. If right. at any point we're lost and you are pursued, do head to the prayer room on the east wing. Yes. There's a way out there. Go through the crypt. That's where we get out. I'll tell the other two when we see them. Well. I don't know where they've gone. Did you see where they got to? No, I would, no. You, you would have discussed all of this in the stagecoach oh, as, so as, as a get out. You can go via the prayer room to get out via the family crypt, which is on the outside of the, the, the walls. So that is a way that you can use to get out without going via a gate. You'll love it. Straight into the woods. <laughs> I do, yes. I do. Do. Um, we have, have we, we don't know where they've gone. We've just never You don't know where they've gone. I believe we need to head upstairs. If we can't get through that secret entrance, yes. because it seems to be tripped by some sort of alarm, I have a cunning idea. Well, it also seems a little bit quieter up there as well, so that's probably yes. a good place to we'll, be. We'll head up and get some air. Oh, we're there, tally ho! <laughs> so you're heading upstairs via the... It's the normal way, as if we were going the, to... The main use... stairs? Yeah, if we're going okay. to use the bathroom. <laughs> Sure. So yeah, you, you head back towards the main T-junction, you head up the main stairs, you see, um, as you get up there, you can see that guard standing at the, the entrance to where the museum, the armory, Jeffrey's room is. You can see a number of other open rooms upstairs, um, as well as guards which are posted at that main <laughs> bit as well. So you're heading up towards a bathroom of some sort. Um, directly ahead, I say directly ahead of you, as you get up the stairs, directly, yeah, no, directly ahead of you is a room which is open, which leads to your old room. It's just open, isn't it? It is open, yes. Um, it has an ensuite. There are people queuing for the bathroom. Okay, well, for old time's sake, I'm just going to check one thing. What's that? I move towards the room people are queuing in mm -hmm. and open the door to my old room mm -hmm. just to see what it looks like now. These are old, your old sleeping quarters. My old sleeping quarters, yes. Oh. I want to see if I've left anything behind in here. Oh. You the open the door. Precious memories. When I'm you sure. when you were younger, this was your workshop. <laughs> oh, where oh, cute. You had uh, many a uh, long night working and tinkering away. You'd always been more at home with uh, mechanics and engineering rather than you know trade and merchandise. I'd be quite business. perturbed that people are queuing for the bathroom. Well, one there's that, and also because this is no longer a workshop, it is a trophy room. <laughs> Oh, mm -hmm. all of Jeffrey's achievements. <laughs> oh, <laughs> savage! <laughs> Quick, take the dagger out his back. <laughs> I, 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 I can immediately see what they've done. Yeah. Are people in the room with me? Um, no, this room was closed off, but there wasn't like a guard. Like people no. currently queuing for the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. No. There's, there's, uh, the bathroom is locked, and there's one person queuing. Just looking around. Like, but the cogs are whirring, but I'm looking, there's other people, it's like, no, no, served cold, that's the best way. And then about turn, and out we leave okay. my chartered room. Um, is there anyone going on the stairs that go further up? Yes, there is actually. There is someone stood on the stairs. 
<laughs> it's what? It's airtight, this place. So they've gone past us at this point. Uh, you two would have been in the uh, bedroom, which is just above the grand hall where yep. the auction is being held. <clears throat> we propelled um, down the side yeah. of the building. <laughs> <laughs> Well. <laughs> well, we need to, so... We need as, to find our as, friends. As, as, as soon as I hit the stairs, I let go of your arm and say, right, we need to find the other two quick. Are you going down the stairs? Yeah, well, we. I would think we would have head back to where we'd last yeah, seen you. Yeah, just try and find That them. way? Sure, yeah, okay. No, that's not where um, we are. Yeah, you, 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 you head downstairs, uh, you go past another room which is open, you go past a small function room which is open as well. Um, there is a room which is uh, also has a guard standing in front of it, uh, which is just at the very, very top. Uh, end. Um, I will ask a question of the guard just on the way past. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, um, yes, what sir. time does private auction open? Pulls out a stopwatch. It will start upon the hour, sir. And then, so how, 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 how far away is it? Yeah, about 15 minutes. Okay. <gasps> Not long. Not long. <laughs> because basically, all right, let's, thank you. And I'd say to you along the way, we need to work out who's going in there. <clears throat> well, I think if, well, Mr. Persuasion would be a good idea, but he also knows where we're going, so. That's fine. Our second Mr. Persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> you head back down the way that you came back towards the stairs near the library and the drawing room, very good. You two, you're currently in your workshop stroke Jeffrey's tro uh, trophy room. So the servants' quarters are the floor above. They are, yes. Are the staff currently working on the function? Would they have been from that servant quarters? Um, so the, the kitchen is on the ground floor at the very back of the house, as well as there being storeroom there, prep room. Um, th that's where catering is done. Upstairs is more like the living quarters. Oh man, I want to get upstairs. <laughs> Who, so who's on the stairs? Uh, there's, there's a guard, guard on the stairs guard. stopping you from going up. Gideon, I have an idea. Hmm. Could you potentially suggest to that gentleman there by the stairs that you're a little bit lost, you don't know where to go, and you quite desperately need the toilet? I need you to get a guard away from the stairs. <laughs> this is most unbecoming. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. Can we try and convince the guard to leave the stairs? Uh, the guard, you, you approach and say this, I presume? How wide are the stairs? Double sort of. Also, presu I presume he doesn't want us going upstairs. No, he doesn't. Okay. Like, there, there's a reason why he's standing in front of the stairs, whereas all the other guards have been standing to the side of the stairs. Right. I'm going to approach him, <clears throat> but like on his far side to make him turn this way a little bit mm -hmm. to face me a little bit. Okay. Nice. Oh, excuse me, sir. <laughs> Come over feeling a little bit peculiar. <laughs> <laughs> Is it warm? <laughs> is it warm in here? Is it just something to my voice? <laughs> is it warm in here? Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> um, You're a big strong chap. Let me just hold on to you a little bit. Here. Oh. He's, he's, uh, sir, sir. Am I able to book it up the stairs during this? Um, ah! I don't <laughs> feel very well. <laughs> Sir, he's holding on to his arm. Yeah, he he, oh! he takes a step down the stairs at this point to sort of go for you. Uh, could you make a performance check? Could you make a stealth check? <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh. It's a twelve. Okay, <laughs> my stealth is an eleven. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have been very successful. Yeah, so he uh, he's, he he sort of, and then he you you you're kind of heading and you begin to but he's like oh sorry sir the servant's floor is uh, off can limits. i just sort of pull sorry. him towards me yeah. <laughs> i can see the blood <laughs> who is this is that you smithy yeah he... oh, it's been so many years <laughs> i can't believe we could have this final conversation together <laughs> could you make it another performance i'm holding him really tight i tell you i'll um, make an athletics check Athletics, oh, yeah. that's much better. Snap his arm. Uh, 17! Uh, yeah, he, he tries to move away, you're just like, old man strength. Yeah. <laughs> um, the light's fading he, he, He's missing. looking over at you, and he's like, sorry sir, the upstairs is... is, is, is that's it, his. It, you, uh, he I, tries to get out. He's <laughs> pulling one, close of, one of the servants was most Make excellent. another athletics check. <laughs> oh! Oh no! Oh, no! All my ribs are broken! Have I got any more luckies? No, you've only got the one inspiration, oh, you used no. it. It's a ten. A ten. You you try to pull him in, he's like, uh, that's enough, sir, that's enough. Uh, oh, he, terribly sorry. Uh, do you need to see a doctor, sir? Oh. <sighs> a little bit better, actually. 
<laughs> you wouldn't be able to fetch me a glass of water, could you, Smithy? Uh, he <laughs> he, he, lo- he looks around uh, to see if there's a servant nearby. Um, there, there is one that has just come out of the function room. He's get this man a glass of water. <laughs> and he sort of stands back at his post. That was m- excellent work there, Mr. Servant. Um, may I reward you with some money in your living quarters? <laughs> Are you talking to the servant or the guard? The servant. The servant has just gone to get a glass of water and has gone downstairs. Oh, I thought he'd come it's back already. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I would like to reward that servant, Mr. Guard, by leaving him some money. Do you know which bed is his? Uh, no, I don't. Could, could you make a deception check, please? Roll well. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> God, use all of my luckies. Sure. Uh, it's not much better. It's a, it's a 15 total. A 15, okay. He's, uh, the servants w- would not be accepting any additional payments. If you, if you wish to provide uh, feedback on their service, sir, then uh, I- I'm sure w- I could fetch Mr. Martwick and uh, you could relay your Perhaps approval. Perhaps you could fetch him right now. Sorry, sir, I have my orders and my posts. <laughs> Very <Excuse> well. <laughs> You're late for the water. <laughs> uh, the servant. <laughs> the servant comes back with the water. Back downstairs in the library. You two. You've, you've headed back downstairs. Right, they're not there, are they? They're not there, are they? Do we they hear are. any of this stupidity? Could you make a place? perception check? I did <laughs> shout very loudly. Uh, perception. Oh yeah. yeah. Twenty. Uh, one. Seventeen. Yep. Yeah, you both hear. I can see the light! <laughs> yes. I was looking yeah, at you. Yeah, we look at each other and you just... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. you, you, you head back upstairs. <laughs> yeah. um, the, the servant has returned at this point with uh, a tray of, of, of uh, water. Uh, not a tray of water, but like a glass on a tray of water. Uh, and hands it to you. We follow closely behind. Yeah, we've yeah, been you. causing trouble again. We're all together now. I've you are back trying all together. to form a distraction. We'll have, we'll have a powwow as a unit. Where would you like to power? Just in the hallway? In just have it like, is this like an informal chat? We'll do yeah. like a party lean. But sure. obviously yeah. we're all discussing yeah. more important information. So, <clears throat> party lean? Not next to any open rooms or. Yeah. Yes. Guards. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like the library? Yeah. Yeah, if you wanted, to, you you could go back down to the library. You could use the library um, hall. There was no one in your workshop stroke trophy room. Yeah, we'll oh, go into it. Yeah, sure, you can go there. I keep forgetting it's not actually my room anymore. Mm-hmm. Every time I go, mm-hmm. yep, wins. Uh, yeah, you 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 head back to that. Um, I presume you close the door behind yeah. you. Well, we've been quite successful. We've been the opposite of that. Yeah, it's just not gone well. <laughs> um, I could hear that. We've located <laughs> one of the secret passages. <laughs> Well, would you please show them what we've located? Oh, marvellous! Oh, Roll me down, well done. Now the real I question is, who's on. going in? Well, the thing is... <laughs> did it. <laughs> the thing is, if we get into the auction, we're not going... We're only going to be able to get the one item. And I don't really believe we have the money on us to actually bid for the item. No, agreed, but I thought we wanted to see if the item was actually in the hall. We certainly do. So we need to go in there, I think. You have probably the silverous tongue, because I also don't want to be in the proximity of a certain Geoffrey gestures to the room. Just in case you recognise? Yes, quite possibly. Okay, I can go in. It's uh, maybe five minutes away from now, so I should probably head. If you can locate the item, that would be marvellous. What I've been trying to do, with the help of our friend here, is get upstairs. If we get to the upper levels, we'll be able to either get up to the bell tower, jump down to the roof and go via the balcony to the other side of the wing, because it is heavily guarded right now, and that's where both the family museum and armory are. But we will need to go up to come down again, because I haven't been able to get through the secret passage because we were rumbled somewhat. Okay, so where do I find you? Yes, well, we need some first, sort of signal, don't we? we'll go to the auction, we'll mill around and continue. Once you've located the item, do let us know if it's there. Okay, I'll go in the auction. If we see, if I see the cube in there, I'll come and meet you in the library. We'll make a plan from there. Sounds good. Okay, good. Uh, and I, I head towards. So you head towards. Yeah, given the, the time. The, 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 the grand yeah. hall. Yeah. The three of you are going to do what? Would it be worth trying to explore the other secret passages, such as the master room? Yeah. So the master room is closed. There is a guard stationed. So many guards! Yeah, they're all cut. Are there any guards around him? 
him or is he just a guard on his own? Yeah. Because oh, Mr. God. Stop Me From Stabbing is no longer with me. <laughs> I, so there's a guard on his own, but he is in eyesight of the guard which is standing on the stairs leading up. Well, there are three of us and two of them. So currently, yeah. currently <laughs> we could do a coordinated attack and no one needs to know, especially all not. The, all the other entrances are currently guarded, so I'm yeah. trying to like, circumvent the guards by going up above and because there's a balcony attack That's to Jeffrey's That's a very easy room. way to circumvent guards. Murder. Josh! <laughs> but if, because if we can get up and around, then we'll be able to get into that wing of the house. Because the guards at the T-junctions, we'd be behind him. Mm -hmm. Have you relayed that to us with your mansion yeah. knowledge? Yes. Yeah. So, so on, on the map of the manor, there's an outer balcony, which is next to the armory, Jeffrey's room, the family museum, a small hallway, which also has a closed door, which that guard is standing in front of. Let's do it. So if we could try and convince old Smithy to let us go upstairs. It might be more successful. Oh, we still got to get past Smithy? Yeah, because he's on the stairs. Smithy. Damn it. But is anyone else around Smithy? <laughs> uh, he is in eyesight of the one standing in front of the master bedroom. Oh, no boy. murders. Yet. <laughs> he's stifling my creativity. Have you still got your sleepy, sleepy potion? He yeah. does, yeah. Yeah. Oh, but we're in eyesight of the other guards, aren't yeah. we? Mm. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> would, it, would it work as something if they inhaled it rather than ingested it. No, it needs to be ingested. Mm. If, we, if we make enough of a distraction, because I've got my trusted grappling hook. Yeah, you can feather fall. I could get down onto the balcony mm -hmm. and investigate and then somehow report back. But I just need a distraction to get me up the stairs. You, you, uh, you, have you gone down the main stairs? Yeah, I, I'm going in a <coughs> conspicuous way because I should yeah. be allowed to Unless there's like a guard rotation, we might be able to make. Not that you've noticed oh. in the time that you've been here. No. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so what was the noble lady's name from... Uh, Lady you know? Maya Tareko. Tareko, yeah. Yeah, if I see her along the way, I'll nod. Mm -hmm. You head down to the Grand Hall whilst they're pondering their lives, as am I. The... <laughs> if I was story was concerned, I was supposed to be meeting them in the library shortly. Yeah. It sounds like uh, they're about to grapple hook somewhere. <laughs> uh, you, you head oh, downstairs um, back to the, the main hall uh, and you approach the, um, the, the large oak double doors. Uh, you can see that there's a number of other people who are already there as well. Um, the guard presence seems to have increased um, because some people have been gathered up. Um, but you can see them you know, checking, gesturing checking, gesturing. Is the half-elf there? He's not. Okay. Oh. Um, how deep is the queue? Five people at the moment. Yeah, I'll get in as quick as okay. I can. Okay. Because if he was ahead of me, that might have been a problem. Person goes <laughs> free. Person goes free. Person goes free. That's three. Hmm? Person goes free. Oh. Reaches you. I'm, I'm number five. You're number five. Thank you, sir. Please take a seat. The auction will begin momentarily. Thank you. Then I go. You go through. About a minute, you, you find a seat in the, it's a large U-shaped uh, table. Uh, after about a minute or so, you see, what do you mean I don't have a bloody invitation? <laughs> I was invited here personally by Jeffrey Martwick himself. <laughs> You can look out and you can see the man arguing. Yeah, yeah, but I'm see. going to make sure that he doesn't see me in there. Could you make a stealth check? Uh, I mean, I can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're wrong. I don't see why that's relevant at all. Ten? Ten. That's fine. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you, you are actively trying to be stealthy and you, you, you yeah. take the position. Um, a few minutes will go past and the auction, the doors boom, close and... Do I immediately see anything in this hall? So No. Okay, so there's no... There's no plinth, there's no, no, uh, no. display. Nope. Okay. Um, back upstairs, what are you three going to do? I'm running out of ideas. <laughs> so you want us to cause a distraction so you can go up the stairs? Yeah, because then obviously you can then wait for Dorian in the library and he can report back on the things there. And then I can then in theory <laughs> report back on other right. findings. How Let's start a fight. <laughs> with who? No, with each other. Okay. No, because we would get kicked out. Oh, that true. would be yeah. that would be really um, subjected. Um, we could get back in by the secret passage, we could, but we don't know where it we is. Could he just knows where it is. He, he, he would have told you. We could just call for a guard. We, yeah, we could just call. For you a guard. wait. If you go to the stairs, near the stairs. That is, that is true. We'll call for a guard. <clears throat> I could pretend to pass out. 
Oh! Yeah. I like this. Yeah. We'll put, oh, we'll push over what's in the trophy room. Any like large suits of armor will make quite a clatter. Yeah. Yes. And I approve of this idea. Anything we can trash in the trophy room. <laughs> Here's the plan. Here's what we're going to do. Because my plan didn't work so well, we need a bigger distraction this okay. time. Marvellous. Is this plan going to be any better? <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to see if I roll well in my d20. <laughs> <laughs> the key thing is, if you can get me upstairs, I can recce to see if I can find that third passage. Well, you know your way better than us. I so do indeed. Come with me, we're already in here. You go, <laughs> you go back to the stairs, go past the guard. I'm going to push over this big suit of armor here, and you're going to scream like this. Oh, help, I need a guard. Can you do that? I can do that. Yes. Very well. You go. I'll go mill around in the hallway. I'll push. So you're going to go mill oh, around in the hallway. Be of a well, I'm going to go down the stairs a bit, but like, and then jump. immediately go back to the Hang. stairs. Like, keep we'll an eye. Oh my okay. <laughs> I'll admire some of the art in the hallway. You, you're going down the stairs? You need to I'm going to admire down. some hallway art. Okay. So just remember that there is a guard right next to the downstairs in blocking the door to where Jeffrey's room is. But he's around the corner bit, is he? He's just around the corner, like in that little alcove. So I could sneak up the stairs without him. It's just because there is a guard closer to the trophy room than Smithy. Oh, man! <laughs> That's what I'm trying to. That's what I'm trying to say. Is that the one that's in the T junction? Yeah, the one that's standing by the door which leads oh, to that, the museum. That that's not gonna work. That's cool. Cause I can just go through that door. What door? But if the, the if the guard by the T junction is distracted, I'll just go to the go normal way. Door. I don't oh, have fine. to do any grappling. Yeah. We'll do that. I'll see who who, who comes running basically. Yeah. Push it onto me. <laughs> so I'm trapped underneath. So he has to help lift it back up again. And you okay. pretend to be a weak old man. How heavy is it? It's, it's gonna... a suit of plate mail. Yeah, you, you, yeah. <laughs> that stuff. you got all your hit points, you'll be fine. <laughs> I'm willing to take a hit for the team. Okay, let's do um, it. You, you do that? Yeah, very good. Uh, Acacia, you take two points of bludgeoning damage as it, as it lands like it. on you. Um, and it will look more realistic. Ah! The, the crash is loud and clattering. Yes. God! My goodness, she's been accosted! Help! 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 I'm <laughs> dying! She's been crushed by a super mama! I'll never walk again! <laughs> <laughs> make a performance check for me. At disadvantage? No. Excuse me! <laughs> uh, it's, it's... Hey, it's a 50! Eight. Which is the best that I could hope for. It's fine. Um, <laughs> the... Mama. I could cry on command if you'd like me to. <laughs> <laughs> The uh, the guard who is at the T junction sort of hears the clatter and hears this coffin. Oh, what the bloody hell! And begins to move towards the lower door, which leads into the trophy room. Whereabouts are you in the hallway? Are you, where, where where are you? There's a, there's a little like <laughs> I see. There's like a little alcovey bit by the stairs, but so close enough that yeah. I can see the T junction man if you went for the okay. bait. Okay, so you're now going to go and try and go down there. Go down, I'm gonna, uh, once he goes into the trophy room, yeah. I am going to attempt to make He a, goes into the trophy room. I'm going to try the Make junction. a stealth check. Come on! Oh, I believe in him! 15? Smithy pokes his head round the corner I'm of it, the Smithy. stairs. The other guy says, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, I've got this, I've got this. And he heads into the room, Smithy Ooh. moves back up the stairs. Yes! Back in Our your place, Smithy. Our performance was so good. You yes. head. The guard comes in, he's like, helping you up. You head to <laughs> the... Um, Where there's door. blame, there's a claim! Door. Hurry up! Very good. I need a uh, thieves tools check. Sleight of hand to unlock the door quietly. 15? It'll do. Oh. The hallway is empty. You close the door quietly behind you. On the first door to your right is the family museum, then it's the armory, then it's Jeffrey's room. I'll, I'll try the... <laughs> Urge to leave something in Jeffrey's room. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go to the family, arbor, family museum. In the family museum. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's the sort of knickknacks of the... Mm. the you know that this, this isn't I the know. good yeah. stuff. Yeah, this this is, is like, you know, 
grandpapa's shield and you know great great grandmama's uh, short sword you know stuff like that it's all of it pristine and never they're, they're heirlooms <laughs> but they're not the good stuff yeah um, can i investigate just in case make an investigation is, check. The, the, if there's any there's an 11. you just can't, you can't remember where it is can't remember where it is, can't remember where it is. <laughs> um Anything else that you want to do? Do you want to keep looking? I will keep looking. Okay, you yeah. may make one more investigation check because on, I time in you. is getting precarious. Okay, that's better. 16. 16. You move around. You hunt. Could you make a history check for me, please? Oh, yeah, I'm good at this one. I am indeed. That's a 26. Ooh. Um, 25, sorry. I mismapped. That statue is new. Oh, is it Jeffrey? It is Jeffrey. Oh, oh God. I oh. it. I, I will investigate Jeffrey's statue. Make an investigation check. Uh, 16. 16. Just underneath the um, the rim of this statue, on the plinth, yeah. there's a plaque underneath, you know, Jeffrey Martwick, heir to the Martwick uh, fortune, prodigal son, you know. Only son. Only son. <laughs> <laughs> Just you can see that the the plaque that it's that is, is engraved on is slightly further away and feeling around you feel a little switch and you and the back wall <laughs> slides open and a set of stairs descend right. downwards let's go can i go, go into the into the stairs you peer downstairs and you recognize the telltale stone of the family vault hey okay, have a way in Stop have it. a way in in the vault i'm not going to go in straight away okay because I don't want to split the party. Okay, but you know that you have an entrance. Cool, we have an entrance. In the Grand Hall. God, we're split three ways at the moment. It's never been going. Very yeah. stressful. The guard is dealing with you. I, I would also... You've got like a helmet stuck on your head. <laughs> I would also probably... <laughs> the helmet stuck on my foot. <laughs> try and get back into the main hallway as quickly as possible to hope that you're still dealing with that so I'm not stuck on the other side of a guarded door. It's currently taking you about four minutes to do all of this. I'm It'll being take. very dramatic about the, the the coat of arms that is trapped upon me. Could you roll a d6? A d6? Ooh. A d6. I want a random d6 roll here. Going off book. It's, it's a bad. one. It's a one. You distract him enough. Is it long enough? Oh! We don't know because we're going to have to go to the grand hall. Oh! <laughs> Over in the grand hall. You see, it, it, people have begun taking their seats. There's one seat spare at the very end of the table. A few other people have milled around. You can see that there's uh, a man who looks very similar to Gregor. <laughs> <laughs> he has black beard. It's Gregor if he wasn't an alcoholic. Right. <laughs> like, he is fresh faced. He looks well built. Tone like he's in, you know, he's having conversations with you. He is, he is everything <laughs> that Gregor is not. The insult, <laughs> the insult. No, it's true, it's true. <laughs> and he's talking to uh, a man who has a uh, group of um, eight um, women in fine dresses with him. And he's like, oh, I'm very good, very good. The man takes one of the women, you can see him pulling out a set of keys and he heads out. Uh, two guards that are lining the room move along with him. Do you watch as they go yeah. to leave? Okay. Yeah, they leave. The other women are still here. Okay. Um, you can see all the women also have a key around their neck. You're going to put two and two together that these are the keys for specific items that are going to go and be retrieved for the auction. Okay. A clap from the man which you presume is Jeffrey. Welcome, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you could all make it to this wonderful auction. The biddings will begin as soon as my friend, the curator, arrives post haste. <laughs> it appears he points down. It appears we're waiting for one more person. <laughs> so I'm not a very good Gregor, much like Jeffrey. Jeffrey. <laughs> he takes a seat takes a sip of wine, and after a few minutes, the man returns. Back up in the family museum, <laughs> as you're looking downstairs, you can hit, you hear from another side, like, like a lock opening. And you can hear discussion, you can hear keys jangling, you can hear the unlocking of cases of 
like a silence of magical dissipation. Ooh. And then a and the door closing on the other side. You presume that this is one of the other entrances being used. And then silence in the vault. Yeah. Can hear it from like you can hear it from where the, you the are. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. echoing. It's, it's down echoing the vault, yeah. down from the other side of the vault. Yeah. A few minutes pass. The man returns. <clears throat> um, he comes in. It's also another figure. So the women aren't with him. No, the, the one woman who went with him okay. has returned, and she's returned with a, um, a a felt cushion. Okay. With a large diamond on it. Oh. Oh wow. Okay. So definitely not the cube. Not the cube. It has different yeah. gemstones on each side. Okay. And Jeffrey is like, ah, we will begin our first set of the bidding with the vortex's eye. A magnificent looking diamond, as I'm sure you will all agree, purported to have reviving properties, a rarity as you all know. Resurrection magic is extremely rare in Dark Tour. We will start the bidding at 5,000 gold pieces. You can see a few hands going up, raising 5,000, 5,500, 5,750, 6,000. The number goes up and up and up. And then you can hear a rapping at the door, the main entrance. Just look. <sighs> Sorry to interrupt the auction. We are waiting for our final attendee. This must be them. Please, let them in, let them in. The more the merrier, am I right? The door opens. Oh, no. <sighs> Sorry, I'm late, everyone. It's oh, Kelly. No! 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 Oh, I'm going to kill her. No. So dead. Oh. Oh. I, I <laughs> knew you were going to do she that. She trots in <laughs> and oh. she... Stinks of bacon, I bet. Right. Clocks I mean, you. Yeah, yeah. Oh no! Gives you a smile. Sorry, everyone, I'm gonna have to get And that's where we'll end the session. Ah. <laughs> oh, Kelly. Ah. Well, well. Ah, well, Kelly, well, well, Kelly. Oh, mate, Kelly. <laughs> Bets are off. The knives are coming out. Yeah, yeah. Jeffrey, Kelly, it's all too much. <laughs> <laughs> so you have found the vault. You have provided a distraction. You are in the auction, although it is not the cube. But maybe you have found. Another form of treasure, that of revenge. <laughs> or maybe you have found your doom. You'll have to tune in to the next chapter and find out. So, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye for now.